If you watched the Xbox E3 2016 conference, Microsoft has made it very clear that their vision for, for the future of Xbox is to unite both PCs and the Xbox console through Xbox Live. And it all starts with the Xbox app for Windows 10. But it's nothing new. It's not did not start with Windows 10. In fact, this vision, this dream was announced way back 10 years ago. Stay tuned and we'll go back in time 10 years ago when Microsoft first announced to the world their vision of uniting Xbox and Windows with Windows Longhorn. You're watching Nasmus Labs. Before we get back to the main video, I want to just want to say that make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. This really helps the channel and shows your support and also make sure you get my latest videos onto your feed as soon as they come out. So subscribe and let's see what Xbox Live was like in 2006. So before we go back 10 years, let's see what we have now. As of now, we have this tech Xbox app on Windows 10 that lets me see my friends' activities, my own activities, the games I have played, my gamer card, my gamer score, my achievements, my history, my friends. Uh, I could also browse my own recorded games, my friends' recorded games, um, achievements, uh, my collection, and as well as browse the Xbox Store or the Windows Store and buy games for both the Xbox One and the Windows 10 PC through through Xbox Live. But this vision started with Longhorn. It might be hard to believe, guys. It seems like Microsoft is all in on Windows, starting with Windows 10. But Microsoft wanted to unite the Xbox and Windows a uh, long time ago in 2006. Now, it all started with Windows Longhorn Vision. Windows Longhorn is a cancelled project. It's, a, it's not a cancelled project. It's a failed dream. Microsoft wanted to make the best version of Windows ever. And it all started with the announcement of Windows Longhorn, which would be which was to become a most ad more advanced Windows that is connected with all your digital media in one, in one place and a totally new application framework. It was supposed to be great, but it failed because it was too much to do in too little time with not not enough organizations. And one of the things Microsoft talked about with Longhorn that mo many people might not know because it was not shown as part of Longhorn, it was shown as part of E3 2006, is Microsoft's vision to bring Xbox Live to Windows Longhorn. And for, for those of you who are wondering what happened to eventually to Windows Longhorn, it was cancelled and restarted from scratch as Windows Vista. So the Xbox Live, inter the, the Xbox Live integration they dreamed of never happened and we got instead was what we got instead was games for Windows Live, which was universally hated and soon killed off by Microsoft themselves. Um, by the way, if you're more interested in Longhorn, I th you should definitely check out Major Sky 17. He has great videos. Uh, he has actually a video series of um, of the development of Windows Longhorn. So yeah, and I think that's a great uh, videos to watch. Uh, those are great ser videos in the series to watch. I'll have a click a clickable area on the video and also a link in the description so let's take a look at what xbox on windows longhorn is like now this is bill gates right here and i'm gonna i'm gonna play something that he says uh sorry for the low quality that's the best quality that microsoft offers is 240p uh, but yes i'm gonna make it full screen and i'm gonna play something and notice the term he uses so live anywhere is a big new thrust for us. Uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, one service and new opportunities for all our partners. Well, now to uh, close things out, I'd like to ask Peter Moore to come back on. So did you notice what he said? He said, live anywhere. Does that name sound familiar? Today, we have Xbox Live Play Anywhere. That is the ability to play your game, buy your game once on Xbox or Windows and play it on the other plat pl platform absolutely free. So this Live Anywhere concept started 10 years ago. And let's take a look at what it looks like. So we have the Xbox One booting screen or loading screen. This is the old Xbox 360 loading screen. And you could see is a Xbox 360 logo. I'm going to full screen this YouTube video. And he's starting a game, and uh, he's what he, what what's happening is you he's logging into his Xbox Live, and now 
what is what the person's going to do is bring up the blade inter interface where you could s change his music or uh, find friends and that's exactly what he's doing he's trying to find friends uh, but there's something different you know different you know not known here my notice here that beside the gamer score be of each friend there's an Xbox 360 icon but here the the third one it's a phone icon and the fourth one major Nelson Microsoft Xbox uh, representative is using a PC online Windows so there's online mobile online Xbox 360 and he could invite them to chat remember this is 2006 invite to them to a party and then it's connected to the Windows experience and let's look at looks look at what what it looked like in Windows Longhorn I'm gonna fast forward and this is Windows Longhorn and it's it's and what you're seeing right here is the new calendar app based on the new Longhorn interface called Avalon but as you can see here there's a gadget and a widget for Xbox Live he could see all his friends that's that are on the Xbox 360 other PCs or mobile it's hard to see because of the resolution but th the, but that's what the person is ex explaining and below that he could pin his favorite friends and he pinned Major Nelson or actually no sorry I, I don't know if you could pin his favorite friends but this is Major Nelson's PC and he pinned his own gamer card and as you could see the invite popped in because the other person from the 360 sent an invite to this game and he could accept it deny it or uh, maybe later it's hard to see but when he clicks it or it's Shadowrun he could he could see the achievements for b for both him and uh, compare achievements for both him and Major Nelson and he could see the arrow interface with glass slides from the left in it, it doesn't load an app it loads a side interface side panel just like the Xbox 360's blades interface you saw earlier and it loads it up uh, let me go back a little bit it, as if it's part of the OS this is something that not the, the, the this some, something like this never even came to the uh, the Vista not even close but this was the dream of Windows Longhorn and now when he's logged in he can play together cross pl cross play just as the announced on the uh, Xbox play anywhere initiative this year 10 years later Crossplay was uh, eventually a thing for I think one or two games, maybe this game. And what they realized is that comp competitive games between the Xbox 360 and PC was was very difficult because if you had a keyboard and a mouse, you have uh, eliminated, you destroyed someone on the control controller. So today, when they reannounced crossplay, they are more selective. The developers could decide which multiplayer modes they could play together between uh, PC and consoles. So I think for Gears of War they announced cooperative play on the Xbox and Windows com cross devices. But for multiplayer, uh, competitive play you'd need to be on the same device. And Phil Spencer also talked about that maybe in the future they're gonna have like uh, div uh, peripheral, mo peripheral uh, mo filters. So like you could only play with uh, competitively with PC and console if they're both using controllers for, for instance. And now look at this video they switched to Windows Mobile so this is predecessor to Windows Phone and what he's talking about is playing his Xbox Live you saw that Xbox One interface and he clicked a game and launched it and he talks about buying this game once let me go back here he talks about buying this game let me unmute the unmute the uh, video and he talks about buying this game once and have it automatically on his other Here device. You see a custom made, tailor made marketplace where I can browse casual content, buy the content once, play it anywhere. See, buy the content once, play it anywhere. And this is so interesting because this is Microsoft announcing Play Anywhere 10 years ago, which they re announced to this year, last week, uh, this week. And E3 2016. This is amazing. This. Here I'm playing Zuma. I'm, I'm gonna I picked up the game from when I played it on Xbox. I'm gonna move the vo video. But yeah, so this is amazing, guys. It is. Uh, it's. 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 It was, this was their dream. And as you can see, he's. He's actually. I'm gonna fast forward. What he does. It. it, it as you can see, there's his uh, gamer tag again. It looks similar to the one in Vista. And what he's gonna do right now, he's gonna look at his friends and messages. And he, someone sent him an invite with a car from Forza and he could open it and browse it on his phone he could go back to his PC and edit it there and go to his console and play the game on his console using the car he modified on the PC which he initially received on his phone 
So this was very interesting. This is a Microsoft's dream of making what happened today a reality. And there's reason for the failure. Um, there was an interview why Phil Spencer uh, talked about why it did work out because Microsoft was worried about bringing all their first party games like Halo 3 and Forza to the PC uh, with, with, and with the Microsoft was worried that they that would hurt their Xbox console business uh, and this in is essentially uh, was a nail in the coffin or was essentially the downfall of my, the Play Anywhere or Xbox Live Anywhere initiative where Microsoft was in afraid of their own initiative to so afraid that they didn't bring any of their most exclusive games like Forza, Halo, Gears to the PC and also the g games for Windows Live which did end up becoming sh uh, shipping with Windows Vi after Windows Vista was nothing com like compared to the what, what you saw here and it was a very complicated, very un user unfriendly and was very bloated and all this thing caused the entire initiative to f go down the drain or collapse on itself but Microsoft has risen back with Phil Spencer co taking the lead and he wanted to make this dream come true and I think he's doing it and I think this is going to be awesome I'm so glad to see this happening uh, but yeah let me know what you think guys and this is amazing isn't it so yeah have a good one and if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below make sure to hit the like button or subscribe I really appreciate it, it helps the channel a lot and yeah have a great one